Only on 13, more than two weeks after the tragedy in Lewiston, for the first time tonight, we are hearing new stories from witnesses, what they saw, the acts of heroism, and how they survived. They are three of the people who were inside Schmenge's Bar and Grill when suddenly those shots rang out. CBS 13's David sat down with them, and they tell him there was one quick action that they believe saved lives. And if it wasn't for him, you know, I probably wouldn't be here today with my kids and my husband. Kelly Sylvia never imagined when she and her husband Jonathan went to Schmengi's in Lewiston for a cornhole match on the night of October 25th, their lives would change forever. All of a sudden, you know, we just heard a really loud pop in the middle of my husband's throw. And I looked over and, uh, you know, just recognized what was going on. And then I dove to the ground. Jonathan was hit twice during the shooting near the back of his leg and is now on the mend. Andrew Chessie was also in Schmengi's that night and says what happened next lasted under a minute but felt like an eternity. And then we heard gun, get down, run. Everybody was just screaming and hollering. Andrew then made a split-second decision. Kelly was running to see her, trying to get to her husband. And um, I grabbed a hold of her and pulled her under the board with me. I pulled the cornhole board over us. What happened next was nothing short of what they're calling a miracle. Andrew grabbed a hold of me and pulled me back down. And at that time, the lights had went out. And all of a sudden, I just saw the green dot pass in front of us. The combination of Andrew's quick thinking and the lights going out may have been what saved their lives. Honestly, I think, and just, you know, just like most of us, if the lights didn't go out, I don't think any of us would have made it actually out. I feel like that was his last stop. That was a saving grace for a lot of us because we couldn't see everybody. And I feel like if the lights were on, um, there had been a lot more casualties that day. Through this unimaginable tragedy, friendships have been made that are sure to last a lifetime. A lot of us are gonna be friends forever. We're gonna have such a bond. I think moving forward, you know, these bonds are gonna be pretty much unbreakable. I thank Andrew every single day that, I, you know, we talk and I tell him, you know, how much he's my hero and he tells me how much I'm his hero. In Lewiston, David, CBS 13 News.